neighbor. Today, I'm taking you 2,000 years back in time. At last, I can tell you about the incredible miracles that happened. After Jesus had gone back to heaven and the disciples had received the Holy Spirit. Although they met resistance, they were not afraid because they had Jesus' power inside them and they knew that God was always on their side. Do you have anything to give to an old man who's paralysed and can't walk? Look at us! Silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Why do you look so intently at us? As though by our own power or godliness, we had made this man walk. His faith in Jesus has made this man strong enough to walk while you watched. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Repent therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. They are liars and imposters! <laughs> by what power or by what name have you healed this man? We have healed him in the name of Jesus, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. This is impossible to deny because the man standing next to them is living proof. The name Jesus must not be spread any further amongst the people. I command you not to speak in the name of Jesus. We would really like to throw you in prison. But we don't dare because the people would be furious with us, said the high priest. But we who trust in God are not afraid of anyone even if they are high priests. Now, Lord, look on the threats of the priests and grant to your servants that with all boldness they may speak your word. Stretch out your hand to heal and let signs and wonders be done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. and the other disciples were not afraid, even though they were threatened with imprisonment. They had Jesus' power in them, so they didn't have to be afraid of anyone. All they wanted was to do God's will, and that all men could become disciples, just like them. And the same goes for us. When we let Jesus into our hearts, we have the power to do God's will, and God is always with us. So we don't have to be afraid of anyone or anything. And we can help those around us so they can be just as happy as we are. So thanks for following along with this story. 
We'll see each other again in another episode of Bible Heroes of Faith. See ya! Oh, hey there! If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up or share it with a friend. Hit subscribe to never miss a new episode and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!